I have a new book out. I have a new book out. Yay. I'm very excited about it. And loads of you have pre-ordered it. So thank you. First of all, if you have ordered it and you've got it, please leave a review on Amazon because they make me happy. And you wouldn't believe how insecure I am when my baby goes out into the world. I think everyone's going to hate it. So if you don't hate it, please do leave a review on Amazon because it will make my day. Now, um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about the book in case you haven't bought it yet, uh, just to give you some information. So the Mentally Healthy Schools Workbook is a really really practical book full of worksheets and action plans and that kind of thing to help you take a um, very practical approach to promoting mental health in your school. Now it is born out of me having worked with loads and loads of people at every level in schools um, and higher actually strategically across mats and clusters and that kind of thing um, in order to take a more mentally healthy approach and it's chock full of case studies and examples both big and small of things that you can do in your school. People People keep asking if it's suitable for primary or secondary or FE. Actually, it's suitable across the age ranges. So some of the examples are more applicable with younger children, some more applicable with older, but loads of them would apply right across. So I think it's suitable across all. Other people have asked if it would translate to other settings. Um, I think it probably would um, because the kinds of questions that you're asking yourself would apply. So not all of it necessarily because I focused it on schools, but there's lots of things if you're working in a different kind of organisation that works directly with young people um, but has involvement with families and the community then there's lots of things in here that might be good ideas for you too. Now the way the book came about is that I've been doing lots of different workshops for school staff, for leaders in particular, thinking about how to meet the mental health needs of all of their learners and staff. And actually a good colleague of mine, Kevin Pace, who used to head up Head Start Wolverhampton and now leads at Squirrel Learning, he came along to one of these sessions and he's one of the few people in my life who will give me genuinely constructive criticism. Mostly people are just nice, which is lovely, um, but I really value when I get constructive criticism. Now, Kevin said to me, great session, just too much information though. You need to find a way to make it simpler, break it down a bit for people. So I took that on board and I went away and I developed my kind of litmus test, which is that I feel I can go into a school and quite quickly have a good idea about how well they're managing mental health of pupils and staff. And I kind of thought, well, what are the questions that I'm asking myself here? And so therefore, what questions could you be asking yourself of your school and its community? to. So um, the book looks at these, essentially there's six questions and it looks at them in turn. So it starts off first of all about thinking about you and your mental health, which matters. And then it goes into the, the detail of these six questions in my litmus test and ideas about how we can develop those areas. Within each of those chapters, which form the main body of the book, I start off with a bit of an overview about why I think this is important and what it kind of looks like and how it's contributing to the whole school, whole organisation picture. I then outline eight practical things that you could do in your school or your organisation. Now, they're not all going to work for you, but out of the eight, hopefully one or two feel like a good fit for you. I then, in every chapter, have included ideas that you can cherry pick from. So loads and loads of little ideas that loads of you, thank you, shared uh, via Twitter and other social media. And there are also longer case studies within each uh, chapter as well um, and reference to further resources. So there's loads and loads of ideas you can draw on. And within each chapter, there is also action planning templates. So you can think about what you're going to do in your school, how you're going to apply it. Now, what I'm looking forward to is people taking this book, which, by the way, is huge. I hadn't seen the physical copy until quite recently. I'd only seen it in PDF and I didn't know it was going to be so big, but I kind of love it. I mean, it was hard work to right so it feels good that it's so big um but yeah what i'm hoping is that you will write all over this it's designed to be written all over now if you don't like writing on books and i know some people don't you can download all of the templates from the uh, publisher's website but i look forward to i hope in future having people show me their mentally healthy schools workbook full of their ideas, their writing, their notes, what they're doing as they go along, that it becomes a real kind of working document. That's what I'd love to see. So if I come and visit you or you come and see me speak, bring it along, show me that you've written all over it and used it and it will make me deeply, deeply happy. In just the same way, actually, I get so happy when people show me their copy of my Healthy Coping Colouring book. Um, this guy uh, and sometimes people will say can you sign my copy or my child's copy or you know look here's the here's where I've been filling it in and seeing these like dog-eared and coloured in always brings me a lot of happiness so yeah um, 
yeah get your copy right all over it and show me or tweet me or whatever to let me know that you liked it so there you go that's a bit more about my new book i am not very good at telling people about my stuff and I promised myself that instead of only reviewing other people's books I would tell you something about my own so please excuse the self-promotion um, but um, I, I think I think I hope it's a genuinely really useful resource that would be um, a, a good investment for your school okay I hope you like it and uh, see you next time bye